This week in the USQ News Update, USQ welcomes the new Executive Dean of the Faculty of Health, Engineering and Sciences. Professor Glenn Coleman joins the university from UQ, where he's been head of the School of Veterinary Science since 2012. It's really great to be here at USQ. Um, it's a university that's really, I reckon, on the go. Uh, there's lots of really strong background in teaching and learning and lots of opportunities. And when I speak to uh, the leadership team in the faculty, they're just brimming of ideas of new programs and new opportunities. Certainly this is a steep learning curve for me. I'm spending a lot of time um, reaching out to people to better understand the university and its priorities um, and to understand the challenges and the opportunities that my school and the other faculty and in fact the wider university are facing at the moment. So it's an interesting time uh, to be in higher education with lots of changes happening uh, through the federal government. So I'm spending my time meeting people and learning as much as I can about the university and, it, and its priorities. Well done to all staff, students and their families involved in the USQ Stars campaign. The team have been weaving stars from ribbon as part of the One Million Stars to End Violence project. They recently surpassed their target of 10,000. At the moment, we've got about 10,600 stars, so we've exceeded our goal of 10,000, which is amazing. So, yeah, really happy with all of our efforts. We've had um, more than 50 students get involved and weave stars um, during common hour activities that we have during the week. We've also posted out star weaving packs to external students as well. And then we've had a great initiative with all of our staff members as well, having you know a bit of um, interdepartmental competition, which has been amazing. Do you know a Year 12 student headed to USQ for study next year? Applications are open for a range of scholarships for school leavers, including 40 Vice-Chancellor scholarships to be awarded to high-achieving students. I'm studying um, secondary education, majoring in drama and English, and from a very young age I knew that I wanted to be a drama teacher. Uh, so I did a bit of research and found that USQ had a great program. It was a rural university which I really liked. Um, so, and when I was on the website, I also saw that they were giving out scholarships. Uh, so I thought I may as well put my name in, see what happens. Um, and I got an email a couple of weeks later saying that I'd been accepted, uh, which was really exciting. Um, so yeah, basically went from there and moved all my things from Villa Wheeler down to Toowoomba and I've never looked back. It's been fantastic. And now for USQ News Update series on you, staff and other important members of the university community. This week we hear from Safety and Wellbeing Manager Mike Huxley. So that means I uh, look after safety across our Toowoomba, Springfield and Ipswich campus, but also I look at the, the wellbeing aspect and the wellbeing aspect is a, a proactive approach to safety and it's best practice for safety management across a number of industries now. So I guess my job is to, to try and stop safety incidents before they happen but also to manage safety incidents across the university cam campuses. I came to USQ because um, I just saw this as a fantastic environment and a fantastic opportunity. Um, I firmly believe that a university in a rural setting like this has a huge potential to impact community for safety also. For me, safety is just not about work. It's about a holistic approach for safety where I'm as, as concerned about employees and, and people in our community, not just at work, but how they're applying safety standards at home as well. And I think there's a tremendous opportunity in a university such as this to impact for safety the whole community. One of the great things I've really found here though is that community spirit. Uh, so, you know, I, I, at lunchtime I, I go walking in the Japanese gardens and it's a wonderful campus and there are some wonderful people here who have a real heart for learning but also people and engagement. And for me, safety is about engagement. Um, I don't sit in an office and, and dictate how to run safety, I do it through relationships. And I think that's important. And I think that's one of the aspects of USQ that I see in a lot of people. It's about it relationships. And that's the latest from the Office of Corporate Communication and Public Relations.